OBS is my problem. Oh, been having a few technical issues, but... All right, I think I got them sorted. But they basically stem from OBS updating and being stupid. And now reinstalling it fixed it, but at the cost of losing all my settings. So if all my levels are fucked up, that's why. OBS didn't save them when I reinstalled. Heard the news about your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. The same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! <laughs> I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. Whatever happened to his oath? Isn't he supposed to be by her side no matter what? Your hand. It's... As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and... I don't want to hear it! Demon. Or no demon. You're still you! Okay, so, you're scary! I'll get used to it. I promise, I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. Her first love. That was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Fluffy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. Hey, is this... It's the original copy of the book on Enominot. And all the pages are here. Velvet... Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please? Uh, all right. I'll just pull it out of the usual place. He really wanted a compass more than anything else. Just like you, he loved to stare out at the sea, wondering what's on the other side. He wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. Except he's not asleep, he's an illusion. So, this or is what your shit. life used to be like before everything happened, huh? What's gotten into you? Hmm, maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <gasps> Velvet, how do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut-eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? 
Magilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. An art that reads your regrets and shows you happiness. I'm going to the Cape. Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Velvet... <gasps> Velvet! Don't... go... stay here. Stay with me. This is Fee's compass. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, don't! Wait! Velvet, wait! Don't... don't leave me here! <laughs> Fog? Is this what Mogilu was talking about? We're going to the Cape Shrine. It's time to drag out the Therian. Velvet! There you are. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. Hmm, it's a good thing you're not real. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again. I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Luffy, but it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Luffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that. Ever! So get out of my way. If you don't, I'll devour you again! Velvet. Why? Why must you do this? There we go. The truth at last. <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> well, how are me surprised? I didn't think you'd actually tough it out. What are you talking about? Focus on the monsters, sweetie pie. No mercy! Wounds I won't heal! Carve me to flesh! Make the pay! Make that! The power! Come on, don't spin the goddamn button. Mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's a trap. Trap, trap, trap. Our enemy spun an illusion based on Velvet's dreams. That's a nasty little art. But Velvet saw through it all? She did. But even if it's all a dream, such brutality on her part. Eh, Velvet's always been our brutal poodle. But to shake off the dream by herself, now that's something. The boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. 
Well, what about the people in the other village that are real, that have been doing trade with these people? That part doesn't make sense. It was all a dream. Hell, even if it wasn't. I won't turn back! Alright. You will stand your ground? No, you won't back down? We will need to be extremely wary. Also, if they were an illusion, how did I buy stuff from that merchant? Some little logic gaps. Oh, okay then. Well then let's get dangerous. Twenty-one is less than eight. God, do I hate when it does that when I'm spamming the goddamn button to go berserk. 
the most annoying thing. Hey, you know, the thing that you should be immune to right now? <laughs> you got hit with it. Come on, there we go. You know what's slightly more annoying? Getting killed when you shouldn't be able to get killed. Come on, let me use the goddamn thing already. Same trigger issues on uh, consoles, or if this is a PC problem. You now, certain companies they just don't even bother testing their games when they release a new PC version of it. And I think these tails were built with PC in mind. What's up, almost Caribus? Missing ahead. So, beast and it's strong against Wait. fire. Nico's dog. goes into twin whip. I don't think there is, but I'll look. Yeah. I'm a slip! Ugh! Crushing weight! I can be able to 
Strength against water is just too much. Test and see if Heaven's Wrath will hurt or not. It has the weakness and the strength in it, so. Yep, let me actually land it. Yeah, looks like it does hurt. What the hell? Why can't I move? going on? Right, next page. I mean next page. What is the next page? Because that's always been there and I just never noticed. Rising Falcon! 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 Rising
<laughs> that went away as soon as I got it. how sometimes it blocks the first hit and then the other hits just start tearing you apart. Oh, I do, because the block's on a trigger and all the triggers are fucked. All the top buttons are fucked. I guess only the back two are triggers. I call them all triggers. Went off in one. Not there and Izing. There we go. Why is it doing Scarlet Edge?
So is Enrage is just to start using ice instead of fire? Easy one to deal with. Come on, Mystic Art. Didn't let me Mystic Art, but it let me Theranize, so whatever. Come on, Theranize! Clearly, can die here. Can't Theranize here. You're an asshole. Same that the Lapa set. I saw him pick up my soul. Why are you not? There we go. Sorry, pups. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. Does this count as two? Guess the art finally evaporated. I think I only have two luck. Well, disappeared. either one or zero left. I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorius' book! The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. Ooh, that's a resurrection. Let's see who it was on, though. I assume it's on her. No? Well, who has resurrection? So it pop up. Oh, Aizen. So, Aizen, you are always in now. You know what you're getting into? Yep. Resurrector on my team. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered mob with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still. We may have a new clue to the nature of Enominot. You found Enominot's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. And that's why we explore.
I meant to do. I meant to do that. Undead, armored, weak to fire. Phone's going off. Uh. Hello? Uh, fucking spam. Uh. I am canceling my goddamn cell phone. I only get his spam calls. Anyone who wants to talk to me, talks to me online. Oh, he's on the ground. I'm like, where the fuck did he go? Trilly decided he's killing me. Throw a res on me. More. Oh, I only have two. I'm like, why can't I Theronize? Okay, so going on the ground is a feint before he doesn't attack. I think that's what did that big damage to me. So it's engage at range. Everything else in the game. How many sponges? Good. No. 
Can't run here. Quickness. Fucker. Blast away the shadows of darkness. Let's go. Dark despair, kindle a beacon of hope! Why couldn't I move at all? God damn. I agree. Wait, what? Couldn't really see what was going on because the fucking resurrection in my eyes. Couldn't see what the fuck killed me. I mean, I know who killed me. There's only one thing. Still. Of course, I got rid of my soul, too. Stay away from him. Save the resurrection for when someone's on the ground. I can't see with that shit. Stop it. Damn it! Yeah, I'm canceling my cell phone for sure. That is different than before. Resurrection! 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 Resurr
Come on, then. There we go. do the drop down thing and I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of looking at life bars and shit. How are you supposed to avoid that shit? Everywhere you can't dodge it, you can't seem to interrupt it, you can't guard it. So what the fuck do you do? You just accept it and die? Oh, combo setup's gone now. Oh. Maybe I'll make a better one now. I won't. I'm be making the same one. It looks like. That leads into Megasonic Thrust. I don't think so. Did I untheranize? And how? Dark despair, kindle a beacon of hope. Let me use the goddamn trigger when I hit it. He just skip to the halfway point where he does the real attack. Dark 
Make a sonic thrust! Blast away the Blast shadow! Blast darkness! Make us down! Blast the cross! No. I didn't just walk right into that. the resurrections when I'm alive. Use quickness instead. Don't, don't want to Theranize? Want to Theranize now? Want to Theranize now? There we go. The thing. And I hear. Can you rest me, buddy? There you go. Why don't you go back to focusing on me and get away from my team? Lure him away, but he doesn't want to follow. Anytime I step a little bit away, it just goes after someone else. Range really short. When he does that bullshit move, you know, then he'll just kill me and not everyone. Also, apparently, you do this, he won't even attack. Just sit there and take it. Kind of boring, but effective. Such fucking bullshit. Pretty sure I hit him in time that it should have interrupted. So I don't know that it can be interrupted. But that time it was. Maybe I was just too slow. So don't try to block, don't try to run. Just hit him. Why are you not doing the thing? Do the thing! <sighs> fucking game. 
And of course, I lost a soul from that, so now I can't do the thing. Real sick of dying to controls not working. I can die on my own, thank you very much. Seriously, I've had maybe three deaths that are just like complete stupidity in this game. The rest have been just bullshit. Uh, that was in a random spot. Did not come from his body that time. Didn't even realize he could do that. Oh, centers on someone. That move is such bullshit. I have no idea how to fucking deal with it. Except have people spread out, which you can't tell them where to go, so it's not like they'll spread out on their own. So as soon as he decided to target someone besides me with that, it's just over. What are you doing? I'm losing my brain. My brain? Yeah, losing my mind. I guess, same thing. Okay. Runs into that. Didn't go back, I clicked on the thing. Try reversing the combo, see how this works. You're strong, but I'm stronger. It'd be cool if you would use the trigger that I'm trying to trigger. I decided to try the other one that I wasn't trying. Alright, now Theron eyes. Hey, I listened on the third try. How did I die? Dark and light. I never saw him go on the ground, but I must not have been paying attention. That's his only insta-kill move at this point in the fight. Using that thing on me it gives me a soul. I'm all for it. Give me an excuse to go aggressive and make this go a little quicker. So hopefully, it'll keep letting me theronize because. Super iffy. At the end of the combo is when it seems to work the most, but not 100% of the time. And of course, that took away my soul. This is the worst Tales game. Like, I thought Zestereo was the worst when I played that. Nope. This is even worse. I'm 
mean, the controls just do not fucking work half the time. It's ridiculous. I don't know how it has so many positive reviews. They must have paid for them or some shit. Or people are playing on easy and it doesn't even matter. So they're like, oh yeah, I like the game. It's got lots of anime in it. Oh, I don't care that the controls don't work. The fights are all easy anyways. Not that this is particularly hard. It's just got that one bullshit move and... I'm frustrated, so I'm not paying attention and getting killed by dumb shit. Or getting killed by not theronizing. Different combination thereof. I should be ready for it to not theronize and try to avoid regardless, but I just... I want to go ham. Like that. Like right there is what I'm talking about. I should have got out of there. Just in case. Because I know there's a good chance that one of these times it's just gonna not work. But my instinct is to fight, not to run. That's what I should be doing every time. Because it didn't let me theronize till the fourth time I fucking hit it. But also that noise is a Pavlovian trigger for me. The trigger to use my trigger. Get away from me. Stop chasing people that aren't me. Uh, okay. It didn't let me do anything. Hey, went off in one. Way too late after it let me dive when it didn't go off. I didn't it wasn't wasted my soul. Like, oh yeah, you've hit this button a shitload of time and you must want to use it right now too, right? No, I'm gonna use it at the right times. The times where I hit the button. I've been getting a lot of phantom inputs though. I think that was my first like oh no, I was gonna say the first one, but it's not. I remember it did that weird switch earlier. I retract that statement. Had two phantom inputs. At least noticeable ones. Bullshit him. Do this corny shit so that he doesn't use his special move. Nice shooting. I mean, really cheese ball way to do the fight. But at the same time, he's got a cheese ball attack he'll do if I don't do this. Either I be the cheese dick, or he is. I mean, given those choices, I prefer it be me. Blast away the shadows of darkness! Blessed Cross! 
Why are you guys using all kinds of medium attacks that are coming nowhere near him? This artificial intelligence isn't very intelligent. Never really pay attention to what they're doing to see how many of these flubbed attacks they're doing. You know, I'm busy fighting. Now I'm dreadfully aware of it. Get the fuck away from me! Why are you running towards the guy I'm trying to keep away from you? Someone's standing around doing nothing. Seems like Lapiset is the biggest perpetrator of the standing there doing jack shit. Makes sense, he's the useless character in the story. Uh, he's the most powerful on the team, I think. But, his personality is useless. Some kind of godly incarnation. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna mess up my fucking style here. God, they are so slow at killing him. Enemy and ally alike. Incredibly stupid. Over here now. really want to get in there and start hitting him. Hit Nancy. But I don't want to do this fight again. away from him, or he decides to switch targets. Why are you guys all so stupid? You don't need to run around not doing anything. Stay in one spot, launch ranged attacks, preferably ones he's weak to. No reason for all this movement. Take the sky! I said! 
sworn I've seen his HP go up twice. Go team! See, if they stay in one spot, and I could be assured that we weren't going to all be grouped together because they aren't going to just run in on me, I'd sit there and fight him and, you know, take the hit when he does his little bullshit move. But, since they're all unpredictable with where they're going to stand, they feel like run around for no apparent reason. I want to risk it. Easily all four get caught in that thing. Finish him off, come on. That was a considerably powerful enemy. Sure. Go with that. Okay, there's a save point right across here. I still want to save immediately. There's nobody here. This is reality. Is it though? Thought I saw red. It just leaves. Hey, there's another phantom input. Up the three this session. It's empty. No surprise there. Artorius is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. Check out all these complicated-looking books. A hand-drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but seems quite detailed. It's beautiful! My brother drew it every day. 
Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Luffy said he... he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? Not really. That doesn't ring of irony to me. This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit? I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break for such resolve. If you weren't a Therian and attempted to take you I'm not even touching mind. the controller. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed, although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorias's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission! <laughs> Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... you didn't? Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. That's I freed. Had the little pointy beard. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. Oh. Oh. That was anticlimactic. doing there wait that's one of Arthur's actually it's a copy that Luffy set made Luffy made a copy of the book he transcribed it all by hand and then he sold it just to buy me that comb there was something here for us after all Oh, what's that rule called? Uh, where no part of a story is allowed to be pointless. I forget what it's called. If that's the but it's a thing. Script, Google it. We might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. All right, time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. Uh, 
Can I go direct? Answer is no. No, I cannot. Means there's cutscenes along the way, I assume. What are the odds it'll finally let me go to the southern island? At least when I go back to Heloise and get the thing over there. very much the wrong way. tab here. Check something. There we go. Just had to double check that it's still streaming properly. Hob says it's all green. It's up to 6k. Good. Earlier is doing 2k in the red, so reinstalling was what I needed. Done the jump across. There's a shortcut. I did not take it. Alright, I probably would have missed and been fucking around trying to hit it and took longer somehow. That horned monster. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't a Moloch, though, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a demon. But why would the Abbey be working with a demon? Because they he created could be him? Ethereum, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamalana. No, I don't think so. The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. A Therian can't send malevolence to Inominot while walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. It'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. He didn't seem very torn up. I mean, he noticed what he was, just like I did. Should be, like, really pissed off right now, you'd think. Also, why wouldn't he, uh, inform the rest of the group? Eleanor. There's something I have to ask. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? Uh, Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. <laughs> Maybe they noticed you're taking down Therians and set up at one of the logical exactly places? Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Mogilu. No tricks! <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. 
The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. And they're only All one right. left. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <sighs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. Eleanor, does the Abbey possess an art that can control demons? Not that I've ever heard of. Besides, if they could control demons, there'd be no need to resurrect Enominot, would there? Can't argue with that. But Melchior was obviously in control of that demon. How did he manage that? You can't tether them like a Moloch, and Melchior wasn't using oaths or mana to compel him. No, this was something more like mind control. Mind control? Let's say you know your target's innermost desires. You simply conjure the right illusion. Show them what would push their buttons in just the right way. Ah, if you can create an illusion of something someone really wants, you can control them. Exactly. You can force a powerful burden upon your target's psyche. Until their spirit breaks, that is. What happens when they break? Depends on the target. They might become an empty shell, they might go wild with desire. Eeny teeny spiny crow. You sure know a lot about this. Now that you put it that way, why would I know so much about it? <gasps> what if someone is controlling me, making me say these very words? How horrifying! I believe I'll take your words with a grain of salt. Hmm. Grain of salt helps uh, noodles from sticking. Thing. Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. Where is she? I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Lafayette. We understand, Lafayette. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafayette always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Helleviz? Oh! Why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant! You were mean! <laughs> I missed that one back there. Can't pop up until after I talk to that person. Woohoo! My sister's making us pickleboard meatballs for dinner tonight. Hey, what did I tell you about bothering travelers? Sorry about that. He's totally obsessed with food. That's all right. Pickleboard meatballs, huh? Sounds delicious. They're really super tasty. But sis says that they used to taste even better. Why is that? We used to get deliveries of fresh, delicious prickle boar meat from the nearby village of a ball. But in the advent three years ago, demons attacked the village, and now it's gone. It's such a tragedy. If they only could have held out for just one more day, I'm sure Lord Artorius would have saved them. Artorius. Right. 
Oh, that reminds me. We got a new food I never checked out. So a less good version of something I already have and don't use. Excuse me. My partner and I here would like to put on a comedy show, if it's possible. Ah, not often you run into someone with a real fire in their eyes. All right, show me what you got. With pleasure. Eleanor, I'm impressed. I didn't know you had this sort of initiative. You just have to do what you have to do, right? Besides, if we pull this off, it could be our chance to get closer to Modulu. Did you say Modulu? I haven't seen her recently, but she seems to be making a name for herself in Logris. Yeah, her dances are really beautiful. Do you know her? I do. Her and her teacher, Valta. Now, I'm not saying Majalu isn't great, but Valta was utterly sublime. I worry about him pushing Majalu so much, to be honest. He's never been one to accept compromise in his art. Huh. I didn't know that. We don't have time to stop and feel bad for our rivals. Did you memorize the script? Of course I did. And I won't tolerate any slip-ups from you either. <laughs> Hearing that just makes me more motivated. Well, let's get going. We've got a show to put on. Hi there! Thanks for having us again! The Bienfu Keepers! Magic and Sam! Whoa, back it up. Again? If we're supposed to be regulars here, then why does everyone look like they've never heard of Bianfu? And what's with this magic Azam stuff? Is that some kind of spell? Uh, gosh, it's really been getting cold here lately. Are you just going to ignore my questions? What does it matter? Aren't you too cold to worry about things like that? Does this feel summery to you? I can be cold and ask you questions at the same time. Actually, it is rather cold. See? I said it was cold! In fact, I've been so cold lately I even set fire to my clothes! Isn't that going too far? Well, that's how cold I was. In fact, that wasn't enough, so I set the house on fire too! Your house? Why would you do that? Oh, don't worry. It doesn't bother me at all. And who said it was my house? The one I set on fire was yours. <laughs> <sighs> that's a crime, you know. Huh? What's wrong? That's not in the script. Arson is a serious crime. Well, yes, but... In the script, the punchline was supposed to be, but when I saw how much it would cost to replace them, I got the chills. Yeah, but I got into the moment and thought I could ad-lib something better. You're advocating something morally abhorrent. Change it back. <sighs> What's the big deal? You're getting worked up over a joke. Crime is not a joke. Even speaking as a normal citizen, I can't condone speech that promotes such a horrifically antisocial act. Oh, now you've got me all mad. I give up. For good. No, it's bad. I said I give up. For good. No, it's bad. Yikes. My deepest Yikes. apologies for putting on an act about something so terrible today, sir. Well, the whole thing was meant to be about morals anyway, so how did we do? Can I just ask you one question? Are you for real? 
Yes, I am. I should have known. I like the description. town decided to make a new holiday marking the day that Lord Artorius became the shepherd. Three years ago, when the Malachim appeared on the advent, Taliesin was the first town that Lord Artorius saved. We hold great pride at being the city where humanity first struck back against the demons. That explains why you'd celebrate his ascension, but wasn't a ball closer to his heart? You may be right about that. Not being able to save a ball was a terrible agony for Lord Artorius. Even though he killed the demons that destroyed the village, he couldn't bring back the lives that had been lost. If Lord Artorius had gone to a ball first, our city might have been destroyed instead. We won't forget the tragedy that befell a ball. That's the other purpose of this holiday. Remembrance. That's right. Lives lost can never be brought back. Ah, oh, man, Eisen's got a resurrection spell. Also, life bottles. Wow, the weather's just swell. It's something I've said every day for three months now. Huh? But wasn't there just a heavy fog? Nope. Never seen a wisp of fog in this village. It's been sunny so long, I think I might dry up. That means that fog was just another of Melchior's illusions. Seems that way. Seems awfully overcast. I wouldn't say it's sunny. Uh. You there. Sell me things. Oh, these. About another island I can go to. There's another class four island. Off yep. limit class four island. That folks call Serpent Isle. Place has been overrun with snakes since forever. I hate the things, so it sounds like hell to me. But I've heard there's a woman who actually lives there. Whatever for? Why would anyone want to live in a place like that? I know it's mighty strange. Place supposedly is crawling with demons, too. Last time I was in the area, I checked it out. Kept my distance, of course. Used me spyglass. And? Was she there? Aye, she was. Except she looked like a snake herself. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird color, and her lower half was all slithery and wiggly. Ugh. Creep me out. A snake woman, huh? Even worse, look like you couldn't swing a cat without hitting a snake. <sighs> Just the thought of it keeps me awake at night. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep before you pass out on deck. I'll tell Benwick to give you an extra ration. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, first mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> I ought to pester him for some of that aged reserve he keeps hidden away.
Welcome back. Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs? On my ship? You're not a dog person. I was, uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... What should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea. I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides... They remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey, then! Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs. <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Scout ship departing. Hello, Paul. Are you really a goat? Right, no board here. To these. Tank. Are we ready for this? Throw them! Throw a ship! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, too late now. Wait, can I change equipment in mid fight? Neat. Rising Falcon! Take the 
Oh, you little fucker. Input. What, four now? But hey, I'll, I'll take that one over, like, pretty much all the other ones. If that was real quick and didn't really bother me none. I mean, except on principle. Didn't waste anything, or... Bring up that a map. I don't know why the map coming up annoys me so much. I guess probably because it's happened 30 fucking times. I don't think it really bothered me the first The first time I think I just thought I hit the wrong button. But, yeah. Then I realized, wait, it's the X button. That there's no reason for me to be pressing that on the map. So, yeah. Definitely didn't accidentally hit it any of those times. I think I've seen these before. I'd be fighting shit from the next zone. I didn't even realize someone was down. Get him up, just in case. Play it safe. Wonder how long he's been dead. Just been kind of tunnel vision. Uh, did not hit that, but sure. Why not? I mean, I was planning on saving my Mystic Guard for the last enemy, so that I could get the little bonus. Granted, I never know when the last enemy is on these fights. Although, this guy coming out alone would make me think it's him, and I would have used it on him. And I would have been wrong. Rising Falcon! Oh. 
got. Take that, devour. That was gonna be a miss. Gotta miss the guard him. Just in case he's the last one. Nope, not the last one. I just knew that uh, some of these have ended with really easy waves, so I thought that easy wave might have been the last one. Oh, hey, he's dead again. Found a tunnel visioned again. Didn't notice again. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. Proper costume choice. Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? See, the irony is he studied to travel the world, then he lost his memories before he actually got to travel. That's irony. I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have vengeance. Mods. No, there's no mods involved. Just the base game. Done. The art is attuned to you. Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. Sleep is overrated. I've gotta say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. <sighs> I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep, there's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. 
We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! One out, one in. Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania, and allowed the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist, and are to return your Moloch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong Moloch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. When this is all over, I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. He loves it some quiche. Right now. Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar. Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. Fucking sister complex. Velvet, you've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Good eat. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either. Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. 
As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true, food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Sex, drugs. Time for some grub, Laffy Set. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl. It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert, I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake. Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay. I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... Zip it, Mogilu! I haven't seen many Abbey patrol ships around here of late. I noticed that too. Do you think something happened? The Bloodwings said the Abbey's been quiet everywhere. Apparently, some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble, and they can't spare the men to patrol the outer seas. That's Eifried's pirates for you. Always gathering information and keeping on their guard. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that us? If the info's sound, We've really made a name for ourselves. <laughs> Abby ships run and hide when they see us coming. Reason dictates that we avoid hopeless fights. Ooh, Shepard Artorius, you're my hero. <laughs> if only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly, the world isn't that forgiving. We can't drop our guard. Aye, I've contacted some fishermen friends of mine. They'll let us know if they notice anything fishy. We've got the first mate's curse to deal with. We can never be too careful. Yeah, with that Reaper's curse hanging over us, we don't have room to relax. <laughs> well, at least they're not too bothered by it. Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse Point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah. I think the Earth Pulse Point's probably out there. Engand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo, you guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, 
Exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorius could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. That Enominat is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorius? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. Sure. So this big hat covers up his speech bubble thingy. I had a feeling I could still talk to him. Can I delete all these? Yeah. Delete all these useless ones. Oh, come on! It's fine! No, Shut up. it's not. You have to do it right. You're so mean! Fine. Hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Fine! Uh, what's going on here? Eleanor! What? Is that all you're oh, arguing that about? that voice is grating. This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I w I don't want it to- If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's pretty much dry already, right? Yeah! I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah. Luffy said told me about it. My, my. Look who's a little tattletale. I'm sorry. But I thought Medissa should know. Just in case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and Piffle. Everybody in their issues, am I right? Still cannot go down there, god damn it. Thank 
Can I upgrade it? I have materials. Oh, I'm out of money. Huh. Ain't that about a bitch. During my financial situation, neglect to get some of this shit. Find that thing. It's down this path.
Wait, what? Why did you randomly switch at the last second? I mean... Eleven is less than eight. Good to know. Teach it to my children one day. Killed my ass. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cards in the flesh. Make them pay. Take that. Devour. Clear out. Move my cycle. Finish. Soil it in. Put it with. Look here. Move my cycle. Take the guy. I said. Take that. Devour. Move my cycle. Finish. Soil it in. Oh, I thought he was stunned. Oh, I only had two, not three. Like, why can't I? Yeah, that time it was on me. That was not a control failure. That was a me failure. Who? I hit that button three times. Thanks. Disgraceful. You die already. I refuse to fall here. Yeah, less than impressive, but I'll take it. I'd rather have the one from Kraken. I think that's the one that makes you not use a soul sometimes when you activate shit. Which would be great to have. But I can't go kill him because the game won't let me. really fucking stupid to leave something there that you can't get to, because the game just said, nah, nah, can't go down here anymore. The one red mark that I can't get. Game pisses me off so much. I would not recommend it to anyone. Alright, 
I think it's about break time. That's a uh, plenty. 